Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. In this video here, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a Dell Inspiron 15, and this is a 3000 series. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and show you the screen. And this is actually a touch screen as well. And as you can see, my left side of the screen is crack so I'll be replacing the entire screen here but I just wanted to show you uh, the LCD has the built-in touch screen as well so when we replace it we will be replacing the entire LCD screen right as you can see it is a touch screen and yeah so make sure you go ahead and shut it down first Alright, so while well, the laptop is shutting down, and we'll go ahead and replace the screen, and I'll be giving you a step by step on how to do so. So, the first thing you need to do is to make sure you remove the battery. So, it's very simple just go ahead and push the, the clipper or the slider, and the battery would pop right out. Okay. At this point here, go ahead and flip the screen, I mean the laptop, on the other side. And we will be working just on the LCD screen here. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see it because I've tilted it into a certain angle so that my camera can film the step that I'm doing here. So it's very straightforward. Um, this is the bezel. Right, you have a plastic bezel all around the corner and you want to remove the bezel. Uh, you can get a prying tool like this or have a plastic prying tool. Um, anything that you try to pry open the bezel. Okay. So if the screen is broken, right, so you don't have to be gentle since you're going to replace the screen. So I might as well just come from the, from the inside to stick it in rather than coming from the outside okay whichever way you like it doesn't really matter the goal is to get the bezel removed all right so the bezel itself the plastic here um, it has a little double-sided tape uh, kind of tape onto the screen so you may need to put some pressure uh, when you go ahead and when you remove them okay once you get to this point you just pretty much it come right out the entire bezel alright so let's put the bezel on the side and now you can see the LCD screen so the LCD screen have four screws two on the top and two at the bottom so go ahead and remove the four screws they are just a regular Phillips screws alright I have two of them removed Removing the third one and the final last screw. Alright, so at this point, <coughs> the LCD is pretty free to be removed. So you want to gently lift it up. Okay. And be careful with the cable here at the back of the LCD. So what you want to do is, you can see that the tape is holding on to that 40 pin connector. So make sure you have the tape uh, not being attached. 
All right, so now you you loosen up the tape, and there's a little clipper, a very tiny clipper. Okay, hopefully you can see it, and make sure you flip it up, and gently pull that LCD connector, the 40 pin connector. Alright, so at this point here, as you can see, the LCD is free to go. Okay, and I just wanted to point this on for you. So this LCD screen is a NT 156 WHM-T00. Okay, so you can just look it up, this product number. Hopefully you can find a replacement. I will be including um, the link where you can buy the LCD from in the description below. So um, if you click on the link um, that directs you to eBay or maybe Amazon, um, it would give me an affiliated kind of like a, a few cents to a dollar or so uh, by clicking my link below. So um, if you feel to do that, uh, I really appreciate um, but if you have a different screen here and make sure you match the uh, the product number and just kind of look it up on eBay or Amazon okay so this is a touch screen like I said um, so when you get a replacement make sure it says it's a touch screen but other than that it's very straightforward once you have the new screen comes in um, all you need to do is reverse the step right by putting in the cable first so put in the cable and then they have the little clipper make sure you lock it down once you have it locked then you have to tape to hold that cable now once you have that done flip it around Okay, remember there are four screws. So put the four screws back on. Right, two on the top and two at the bottom. And once you have the screw installed, do not forget the bezel. The bezel is just kind of a clip on. It doesn't have any screws to it. So once you have the bezel all put in back together, um, don't forget to install your battery. Once you have done that, and hopefully everything works and you would have a brand new screen so I hope this video helps you uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you have any question comment below um, until next time please take care and I'll see you soon